If you want to be a sprinter, you train with a parachute. And when you take the parachute off, you're faster. Immigrants, when they come into this country, they unfortunately face a lot of resistance at times. That resistance with a positive outlook turns into that parachute. Nickmine Rebels to me and, and I think to the rest of our team is, is, a, is a very nice journey into possibilities and what we can offer to ourselves and to the people around us. It's a mush of awesomeness. It's like, yeah, there's so much that has been put into it that it never started as Link Miami Rebels. It started as just college boys trying to get by. Like we're hustlers and we found each other and we found a really fucking amazing space. I think something very special about what we do is that we're very different people. We're, everybody that is, uh, that is part of our group is very different from each other, we have very different backgrounds. The events that we, that we throw, the parties that we, that we throw at space and the clubs that we had before are kind of a reflection of our diversity as well. What makes House & Tech now so inviting to such a diverse group of people, and it doesn't matter what you look like, how much money you have, you just come in and you dance. When I first came to America, it was very difficult for me to try to find a place where I can fit. Once I found Link Miami Rebels and Club Space, it made me feel like I found my community. They show me love and compassion. All my friends are in Cuba. The friends that I met when I was five years old. But all the friends that I talk to them every day, I met all of them throughout this excitement of having one hobby, which is music and dancing. I've known Laura three or four years now. Really friendly and just really appreciative to be there. Dear friends, always always good to see them and they, they're there for the music. The number one rule it, since the very first party that I did was everybody's welcome. I think the difference between space as opposed to any other club in Miami, there's no, hey, you can't get in because how you look or hey, you can't get in because how you're dressed. We tend to have a door policy that everyone is welcome. Our crowd, I think it's like, they should be like the fourth one sitting here. That's just as important to what we do than us, for sure. And now that we're doing all, all sorts of different things in the club, like the yoga, another example that, that makes me really emotional is a young lady was saying that going to the weekly yoga class is, is a pillar for her because she's battling depression. It was the only person that I met that had the same vision that I had for Miami. It was always about making sure that Miami would become a mecca for electronic music making sure that the underground culture in Miami will prevail. I was born in Italy, in uh, Monza, close to Milan, North Italy. I was in Italy until I was 26, I moved here in 2004. I worked nightclubs since when I was a teenager been a bartender mostly. So I decided to move to the other side of the world, start from zero, different language. This mix of uh, American, European, and Latin really, really got me right away. I fell in love with it. There is no minority or majority here. There's just humans from all walks of life, and that's fucking cool. That's the majority here. Those guys are basically the rock of this little endeavor that we have going on. I'm like the hugger. I just hug everybody. 
You know, it's always good to have people around you that are always smiling. So in Coloma, there's passion. You've seen Coloma in action, man. Coloma's just something out of this world. I have no idea how he does it. Yo le debo todo a este país y no fuera la persona que soy ahora si me hubiera quedado en Cuba. My way was paved many years before I moved here. My grandfather had to flee Dominican Republic due to the Trujillo dictatorship. So they went to seek asylum in New York. We are in the parking lot where um, I stayed with my parents. Since we didn't have anybody here, it was just tough to find a place. A part of me was like, damn it, but how the fuck am I people that have been fighting for our independence. You know what, my parents, they left their parents for me. So the best way that I can pay them is, is just by having the American dream. For me particularly, the American dream was to survive. Whatever you want to do in this, this country, and if you want to go about it, you have the opportunity to do it. The American dream is whatever the fuck you want it to be. I very much love this country. I love everything it stands for. I've been a fan of, of this country's constitution from my childhood days. Uh, I've had grandparents that have always looked up and hoped for our home country to be more like the United States. We are all immigrants, and I'm talking about all Americans. We're all immigrants in one way or another. Citizenship is is something that, that I would love to have. I honestly would like to be a citizen to be more involved. The emotion is like if you ask me, would you go fight for this country? Yes. Would you fight uh, for, for freedom? 